a snowboarder, so there's uh, a lot of skill transfer there. And it's kind of like you get to snowboard on the water. <laughs> Stand-up paddleboarding is considered the fastest growing water sport in the world. But one Vancouver company is combining it with yoga, and Grace is just getting the hang of it. I practice yoga um, in, uh, on my own occasionally, and I find this to be an interesting new twist and a good challenge. Um, I'm definitely nowhere near as flexible as most of the people in my yoga class, but it's awesome because, you know, I'm on a surfboard, so I feel that kind of balances out a little bit. <laughs> Adding an element outside of the four walls of the studio, like water, wind, is something we don't necessarily get in the studio. And it's nice to have that aspect of, you know, our earth, wind, fire, water. Now we have the other aspects to play with. The yoga group tends to attract curious looks from shore. But with the boards anchored down, they swear it's not as tough as it looks. It definitely seems intimidating at first because the water element really kind of takes people back for a moment, but they shouldn't be worried at all. I mean, the worst that's gonna happen is you fall in the water. And that's really not as scary as it seems because you just get back up and on your board and start all over again. It's not as challenging as it seems. I've not fallen in doing the yoga uh, with her, so I think it, it could probably be as challenging as you are comfortable making it. This practice is hitting bodies of water across North America. And despite being somewhat of an extreme version of yoga, Christy feels it's quite the opposite. Slowly I realized it was more about the calm and the ease that comes along with being on the water and near the water that actually allows the practice to take on that meditative, calming state. You can sign up for classes and learn more at StandUpPaddleVancouver.com. I'm Paul McClellan in Vancouver for The Express.